Some say, the world will end in fire. Some say, in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. There are two types of people in the world. Some say, that the world will end in fire. Means, the world will become hotter and hotter. But some say, that it will end in ice. Means, it will get cooler and cooler. But in this poem, Robert Frost is not talking about the scientific fire or ice. He is using the words, fire and ice, as a reference. In the first stanza, he says, he is among the people, who think fire will end the world. He thinks this way, because he knows the destructive power of desires. Means, he compares fire, with desires. Desire, greed, lust, anger. In order to fulfill desires, we fight each other, causing the end of the world. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. To say, that for destruction, ice is also great. And would suffice. But if it was possible, that the earth could die twice, then, according to Robert Frost, ice would also be sufficient. Because he knows, that hate can destroy the world. Means, ice is compared to hatred. Hatred, insensitivity, lack of love. Because of hatred, because of lack of love, we fight each other, causing the end of the world. Although ice is also sufficient to end the world, but the poet thinks that it is more likely, that fire will end the world. Now how will you remember the name of the poet? You can apply the same formula used in Dust of Snow. Here, fire and ice. Robert Frost. Ice. Frost. It's the same thing. <laughs> Please like and share this video, and subscribe my channel.